Welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sync Pivot in D5 Render. By watching this video, you'll learn about how to easily replace models without manual alignment, and how to make animations of door opening, closing. In D5, the coordinate axis of a model is set at its bottom center by default. So when you move, rotate, or scale a model along axes in D5, the point of reference will be at the bottom center of the model. When replacing or updating a model, this pivot will also apply to the new one. The Sync Pivot feature is added to D5 from version 2.3. With this feature, models in D5 can retain its 000 point from modeling software. In this case, we can replace or update a model without changing its position in D5. We'll use this living room as demo scene. The modeling of this pendant light was done with SketchUp, where we can see the position of it and the origin point. Here we have another ceiling light as an alternative. Importing the pendant light to D5 render, we can see that the pivot is at the bottom center. After replacing the pendant with ceiling light, we can see that the ceiling light got its pivot from the pendant light, so we may need to adjust the position for the new model manually. There's an easier way now. In the object list on the left, find the new model, right-click to bring up the menu, then click on, Sync Pivot. In this way, the pivots of models will be synchronized from SketchUp. Now, replacing models will not require manual adjustments, because the pivots have been synced, and these two lamps were placed at the same spot in SketchUp. Sync Pivot can be applied to model updates too. With the synchronization of the origin point, we can update the model without adjusting the position after modifying it in modeling software. This feature also comes in handy if we need to change the origin points for keyframe animations. Let's take the opening, closing door as an example. Import the door into this miniature studio scene. Select the door, click on, Sync Pivot, then we can find that the pivot of the door is synchronized. Now, to make animated opening or closing door, just go to Video Rendering, add a keyframe to the door, rotate the door around the Z-axis in the next shot. There you go! You can also adjust the easy ease and interval between keyframes as you like. Done! This is how we make door animation using the Sync Pivot in D5. Hope you've learned something from this tutorial. You can download the scenes used in this video from D5 Forum, where you have access to more resources and news on D5 Render.